Wow. That is something though. This, these are just the bones. Yeah. So you can imagine with the blubber on top, <laughs> no. they'd be so much bigger. So are fruit flies what inspired <laughs> you to get into science? Well, they look familiar and I spent years pushing flies, but it was really in university that I fell in love with genetics. When you were going to grad school, what were some of the hardest things that you had to deal with outside of the research? It's very isolating to be on your own, working on your own project. You know, you'll publish your work in a scientific journal and then nobody reads it, right? But there's no real bridge between that work and then everybody else. So it would be really nice if there was some kind of platform to help you bridge those two worlds. Each individual is not going to save the world. That's too big a job. And that kind of takes some of the pressure off. You should be able to work on what you love to do, how you're going to make a difference. And then if there's enough of us and we're all working on our own little piece, then we can start to connect the dots and that'll be kind of the big picture. Don't you think there's something to taxidermy? Now what you do is you arrange it in the position you want it, then you freeze dry it. So that's what I said, when I die, they can freeze dry me and oh, just sit nice. me in a corner with yeah, a string on my arm. Yeah, you could be right here next to the warthog. <laughs>